Hey, what's up YouTube land? Eddie Hill and I'm back with another week of reviews. We are not doing any new reviews this week, as you know, from my previous video, in case you didn't see, but we are doing throwbacks from my collection. We are kicking it off for Transformers Week with Transformers Combiner Force from Robots in Disguise, Menasaur. And I will do a comparison with my Combiner Wars Menasaur. I don't know if you people remember that, but he was a great figure to review. Oh, sorry about that. A little bit clumsy. Sorry about that. Yeah. Nearly lost my balance. Typical. I get so excited. I admit I am easily excited. About a figure I haven't reviewed. But just for you, my loving fans, and my subscribers, we're doing none other than Menasaur. And I got the big Menasaur to compare this to. So now we'll take a look at our first spot, and we're going to do. Motormaster. And he rolls. Like rolling things should. His other wheels can move, but these ones right here are molded in. That's the only nitpick I have about it. He's supposed to be a tank... Supposed to be a cab truck. He kind of pulls it off. You know what I mean? Kinda. Now we're going to compare him next to his other wave mates. Here he is next to Combiner Force Dead End. Here he is next to Wild Breaker. I forget how to pronounce his name. Heat Seeker. And I forget this guy's name. He might be... Uh, Burn mark? I don't know. If you know, then please leave me a comment with this guy. But you can say these bots represent the Stunicons. Now, for well, the most important thing, we're going to transform these. Let's start with Motormaster. We're going to unpeg the lower legs and flip them up. Disconnect and Rotate the legs in, flip out his feet over his combiner ports, and split the arms and pull them down, and finally reveal the head. And there we have the Motormaster. Oh, yeah, looking good. And now we're gonna. Transform drag strip. We're going to flip this down to become the feet, then the arms, and that's pretty much it for bot mode. These bots are so simple, this review won't take long. So when we're going to go into about the arms or burn mark, burn mark or something. I forget his name, so just leave me a comment. These bot modes are really simple with the arm guys, so please do forgive me. <laughs> I really wanted to do these for a while, and now I go dropping Wild Break. Wild Break. And there we got him in his bot mode. And finally, Heat Seeker. And here we have our Stunicons. He doesn't have any hands. You could, you could kind of pull these combiner ports out to simulate he has hands, so we can give you like a pose if you wanted to do it. I found it, it's an option you can do, and then you could be like, Stunicons, combine into Menasaur. So he can pull off a good pose in his arms, even though when he doesn't have hands, but these combiner ports could simulate the effect. 
Donacon's attack. And plus he has the option, I'm going to show that off, where he can uh, carry his sword on his back and he'd be like, Stunicons, it's time for us to do our thing. Let's combine. And now we're going to get down to combine mode. We're going to start with Motormaster. And since the hands will, are the, the little, the combiner ports are the hands also. You can say the combiner ports can be the hands and the ports. So yeah, where we got Mas Motor Master already up. Heat Seeker becomes one leg. Flip it down. Flip this up, and there we got a leg all done. Second verse, just like the first. And then flip the legs to become like an armor piece. And we're going to put in Heat Seeker and mark slash mark or something I can't remember but there we got combine mode ready to go and like I said he's a bit tricky to get tab things in now we're gonna convert drag strip to an arm flip out this piece which is really the hand in disguise Pull up this part, flip down the face panel, and there we got an arm. All done. Second verse, just like the first. Extend. Extend. Oh, wait. I can't extend until I flip down the hand. Pull these in. Flip down the faceplate and extend. Sorry, I get confused easy. So, and now we're going to give him his sword. And there we have our Menasaur from Robots in Disguise. Yeah! And now, for the most important thing before I end this video, comparison. Here he is next to the original Menasaur, and his hand just fell. <laughs> Please forgive that. And here he is next to my original M Menasaur, which is a lot better, <laughs> in my opinion. So here he is next to original Menasaur. And they look great together. Where I got this? I got this from Amazon, I think, originally for 20 bucks, And you could probably maybe find it for a good price on eBay. I really love Menasaur from, from Transformers. I, I never watched... I wasn't around the G1 show when it came out, but I watched it when I got it on DVD. G2... G2 Menasaur was awesome. If you love Menasaur, I'd say pick him. Pick this guy up for sure. Pick him up too. They're both great Menasaur figures. And I love them. And they are a part of my collection. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on. And rock on and rock out.